Hi, Laura. How are you doing? How is Summer Jam so far? Summer Jam has been amazing. I'm having such a good time. The crowd is going nuts outside. <laughs> so I saw that you guys got in a little early to Tokyo. Um, how was sightseeing around Tokyo? Okay, so I just want to let you know that I'm being such a geek, okay? Because I always wanted to come to Japan. This is my first time here. So I was playing like complete tourists running around taking pictures of everything. So I did a little shopping in Harajuku and running around Shibuya, hit a couple bars. I went to a place called Golden Guy yesterday, oh. like the little bars. Yeah, and I had such a good time. So it was cool, man. Uh, I've just been having an incredible time. Good food, good sushi, some ramen. I don't know, Tokyo and Japan in general is amazing. How has the experience been leading up to Summer Jam Tokyo? You know what, we didn't really know what to expect like we didn't like we knew what summer jam is but we were like all right i know that you know you, you guys you know japan has always embraced hip-hop culture and and has been a big part of its growth so we were like all right so i know it's gonna be lit already i know the fans are super excited and we started seeing it grow on social media and when i got here right when we got out like in the airport i saw people coming up to me like oh you guys are here for summer jam tokyo i'm like what so as we went shopping and you know as we've been like hanging out in the city like people have really been coming up to us and telling us how much you know they're fans of the brand and that they were gonna be here tonight. So it's been nothing, nothing, nothing but great. Speaking of social media, the internet has played a huge role in music. How do you think it's really important in the hip hop industry as well? No, of course. I think that artists now have like a huge advantage. I mean, there's, there's, you know, artists have they become stars on their own. They don't even need radio or traditional like. You know, record labels, you know, it's like they become like sensations on Vine, on YouTube, on Instagram. Like, look at Bobby Schmurder and that one song started from like a Vine of him tossing his hat up. You know what I mean? So I just think that now artists have the ability to just pop off on SoundCloud and really take matters in their own careers to the, in their own hands now. And lastly, as the sole female of Hot 97, do you feel a sort of responsibility like representing the woman in hip hop? Is there anything particular that you do to represent women in hip hop? To us, I think that, you know, I'm always honest and I'm always myself. Like my goal is always to be approachable and to make sure that I connect with my audience. So I don't ever play myself, you know, and even when I make mistakes, I own them. And I'm like, yeah, I messed up. It, it happens. I'm human. But I just try to, you know, be a positive just a positive force, man, in my neighborhood, in my community. You know, besides like the whole, you know, besides hip hop, we make sure that we do outreach and we just play our part. You know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, we're a local station, but through social media, through the internet, we're worldwide. You know, High 97 has like over 1 million subscribers, which is incredible. Like, no other radio station has that. Maybe BBC, I don't know, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> but no, 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 it's cool, man. So, you know, I take pride in it. Like, I try to make sure that, you know, we have fun on our show, but we also make sure that, you know, we're very, you know, shine the light on social issues and we're positive. And at the end of the day, we're just ourselves, you know. But I'm, I'm telling you, and I, I, I love my job and I love my coworkers. And, and I'm so happy when people come up to us and tell us they love our program. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoy the rest of the night. Thanks for setting time. it up. For us. Yeah. <laughs> I had a great time. Thank, Thank you, you so much. So, how does it feel to be part of first summer gym in Tokyo? It feels very cool because for so long I've known about the like awesome history between yeah hip-hop culture and Japan and Hot 97 particularly we, we have such a long history with Japan so to get to be a part of like this kind of official foray is uh, is very very cool thank you no worries thank you thank you Cheers, here with I, I really need to go take a shower though. oh okay yeah well, no, I, I need to go take a shower okay, go you want to do it later or you want me to answer your question right now Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not taking the shower. <laughs> I'm just going. Okay. Black FM, what's going on? So what we got? What we doing? Okay, so I wanted to ask you, you know, you've been doing Hot 97 Summer Jam in New York all the time, and what made you decide to bring it all the way to Tokyo? Um, well, we actually have been talking about it for whew, at least eight years. Um, and, you know, a lot of the DJs from Hot 97 come out here and do parties all the time, and then DJ leads a heavy hitter, and you know, so, you know, we've uh, had in Cast One and Camillo and just Bobby Connors and Jabba and for years DJs have come out here from New York. So we knew that the hip hop fans were serious out here. It was a great market and we wanted to just come and, and figure it out. And then once we figured out who to partner with out here um, and um, 
you know, shout to the team out here that, that really helped us bring it to life. And that was it, you know, just figuring out how to like pay for it, how to market it, how to get the, you know, the crowd engaged. So now that we got it on the ground here, we're gonna come back every year, same time. So we'll be back next year. And how is Tokyo, you know, is it? I mean, it's amazing. Your, yes, everybody knows. Is it I mean, your expectations? Yeah, it's beyond your expectations. Like if you've never been to Tokyo, uh, you're hearing this right now, um, wherever you are in the world, like it's one of the most amazing cities on earth and the people are great and the culture is great and they have respect for culture and, you know, just it's beautiful. Well, thank you so much for nah, your time. it's my pleasure.